Hey there, everybody, and welcome to MMP TV, where we tell the untold stories of those uniting across struggles to put people first in Pennsylvania. I'm Miguel Andrade, and you're watching our weekly update. Today, we'll be talking about a recent protest led by the Dream Activists of Pennsylvania, focused on the release of Miguel Orellana, a 25-year-old Dream Act eligible student who has been held in detention for over seven months at York County Prison. During these seven months, he has been working on getting his GED while in detention, but unfortunately, he has also missed the birth of his second child. At the event, we can truly see the powerful unity across many immigrant and undocumented communities taking a stand and fighting for their human rights. We really believe it's important to recognize that there's a growing inequality, be inequality between the most of us who struggle every day to put food on the table and the few who are concentrating their wealth and power. We see this inequality as the heart of all the hardships we are coming up against as people today. For the families who have come here from other countries, who are building this country hand in hand with all Americans, there's an added worry today that they or a loved one will be ripped apart from them and deported. Every day, millions of people in Pennsylvania and across America wake up to, a, wake up to face a growing insecurity, and most of us make the choice to continue to fight for something better for ourselves, our families, and this country, including the young people we are going to hear from in this video. In March, during the National Coming Out of the Shadows Day, Dream Activists of Pennsylvania held a demonstration to call for the release of Miguel Oriana. My name is Edith Ramirez and I am here to... I want to come out of the shadows along with other undocumented youth and I also came here because we want to Miguel to be released. So we're fighting for him and we're also fighting for our human rights. Miguel has been detained for the last seven months at York County Jail, awaiting deportation to El Salvador. Miguel's dream is to stay in the United States to raise his two children alongside his longtime partner, Jessica. In an act of unity, two youth leaders peacefully demonstrated before the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Office to demand that Miguel be released from detention. They were arrested for their courageous act and later released. Leading up to the demonstration, many undocumented and immigrant communities and other Philadelphians gathered as youth leaders shared their stories and spoke about the human rights that all people deserve. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know I was undocumented. I thought I was just, you know, here doing what everyone else was doing. I was going to class. I was, you know, being a normal person. There is more to this political debate. There is a lot more to this and I'm here today telling you all my story, telling you that I am undocumented and unafraid. You are not alone. If you are undocumented, you have me, you have a lot of other people that will support you in this struggle. We have each other. Uh, my name is SOCOM Touch from the One Love Movement and I'm here today pretty much standing solidarity with the Dreamers. For a long period of time I was undocumented myself until I was 25. That's like four years ago. And so I, I see the struggles that these guys go through every day, like not being able to, to get a driver's license, not being able to apply for school, not to get a job. My name is Gabriela Alfaro, and I'm undocumented. Woo! I came to the United States 10 years ago from Costa Rica um, to follow what my parents called El Sueño Americano. Now I'm working three jobs. And I wish I could be going to school and learning how to be an engineer. But I'm gonna still have faith that the time will come when our status will matter and only who we are as human beings and as the youth and the future of this country. John Racino with South Philadelphia High School. I believe that the, um, they, the people that this is going against deserve their rights and that this shouldn't be happening to them. A lot of my people here are from South Philadelphia High School, so we know each other. A few months ago, I went into a FORSA meeting and I started learning about my rights. My rights as a young person, as an immigrant, as a student. Here's what I learned. Everyone has a right for higher education, regardless of status. I learned that we must fight. Fight for what we all need and deserve to live a life. Each and every one of you has a right to live a dignified life, free from fear. We just had to prioritize people. Like, 
like all our necessities had to be met. Like it shouldn't be compromised in any way. Like if housing is is a, is a main main thing, everybody should have a house. If education is the main thing, then we should have great education, especially in a country like this. In a society where families can be ripped apart, deported, detained, or denied basic rights, we really must ask ourselves if this is the kind of society where anyone can live securely and ensure their basic rights and needs are met. Too often those in power would have us believe that those of us from another country also struggling to make ends meet are the cause of these hardships. So many Pennsylvanians are struggling right now with record high unemployment, rising healthcare costs, mass housing foreclosures, and a deteriorating public education system. Rather than developing the kind of solutions that put people first, all people first. We're offered so-called solutions that merely serve to keep us divided. How is detention and deportation a more viable solution than ensuring that we all have rights to housing, education, health care, and work? There is no reason for any of us to be struggling. Together, let's stand against any law that would tear families apart, that would deny any young person the quality education they deserve, that would exploit the work of those who make the state better every day, and any law that creates more insecurity and hardship for the people of Pennsylvania. Right now, it's clear to see that Pennsylvania is not putting people first. That's why the Media Mobilizing Project is launching the Put People First campaign. It's all about putting people's basic needs first. Quality healthcare, quality education, affordable housing, and jobs that pay a living wage. MMP wants to hear from people across the state and tell the and tell these untold stories. We want to connect people and places around Pennsylvania so that we can work together and put people first in our state. To fill out a survey or tell us your story, contact us at stories at putpeoplefirst.com. Stay tuned on Philly Cam and keep watching MMP TV. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Log on to mediamobilizing.org for more information. Once again, I'm Miguel Andrade, and thank you for watching MMP TV. Media Mobilizing Project TV.